Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody. Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. It's another fabulous, not weather-wise, but just in general, it's Friday, right? So it's going to be a great day. Hopefully everybody had a good week. Um, lots of stuff going on. I've got lots of stuff to tell you guys about. Some big announcements. You've probably already heard some of them. Um, yeah, and then lots of stuff going on. We got basketball all weekend long, Friday night, Saturday, and probably Sunday. Hi, Nikki, how are you doing? So yeah, lots of basketball going on. Lily's got some dance stuff, and we're, I think, working the fish fry tonight after class, after Facebook Live. Hi, Marianne. So yeah, it's a busy, busy time. Hi, Rhonda, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. And Sharon, yay, thank you guys. You're all finding finding the live so that's awesome so yeah like I said hopefully everybody's had a good week um let's see I want to kind of just jump right in because like I said I alluded to the fact that there have been some kind of big things happening with Stampin' Up! Um, announcements this week. So I wanna make sure everybody knows what's going on. Hi, Nikki, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, it's so good to have you on here live. Yay, I hope everything's good out in New York. Say hi to everybody out there for me too. And actually that makes me think, I am like probably one of the very few um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators that is not at an onstage or on their way to an onstage convention. There just wasn't one very close to us, and I just kind of decided, it's all, it's basically kind of like, I think it's Friday night and Saturday, so it's not a very long event, and I just couldn't justify leaving and like, you know, flying on an airplane basically for a day, day and a half. So anyway, I'm super busy, so it works out fine, although now with all these crazy announcements that they've made, again, just like last year when the whole color renovation happened, um, I'm kind of bummed that I'm not there because I would love to get some more information. But hi, Darlene. Good morning. I think um, hopefully things are going well for you. And oh, Lily is home half day today. I was like, oh, Lily, when you come in, you're going to have to say hello. She's not even looking at me yet. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Hopefully it was a good day for her. Only a half day, right? Oh, she's hungry. She's going to get some lunch. Never mind. Maybe she'll... Maybe she'll say hello on her way through with her lunch. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's see. Okay, so like I said, big announcements. Um, <clears throat> the one big thing is the Stampin' Trimmer. So that was kind of Stampin' Up's version of the, the cutting, um, paper cutting and um, uh, scoring tool that we have. Um, I my understanding is maybe there have some pro been some problems with the manufacturers, so they've decided that they want to come up with something new. So as of the next annual catalog, the stamp and trimmer is no longer available. Hi, Marianne, you're asking what's new. Well, okay, so that's the big thing, right? The stamp and trimmer, so the cutter and scorer tool is no longer gonna be available for purchase. Um, after Jan or, um, June 3, I don't know if I said January 3 or June 3. Um, but the other thing is too, they said they bought a um, good supply, what they have forecasted should be enough based on previous sales, like a six month supply worth of the um, trimmer blades, the cutting blades and the scoring blades. I know it is big, isn't it Marianne? The thing is hopefully they're kind of gonna come out with something even like better than we've had before. That's, you know, that's always the plan, right? Um, and I'm sure they've been working with new manufacturers and designers and trying to decide what they're gonna come up with. And unfortunately it's just not gonna happen in time for this next annual catalog. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, that being said, if you have a Stampin' Trimmer, Right now you can order three packs of the cutting blades and I think three packs of the scoring blades. I don't ever run through a scoring blade. <laughs> so I would think if you got an extra two, you would probably be good for the rest of your life. I don't think I've literally ever changed my scoring thing. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe other people push harder. I don't know. Um, but the cutting blades, I know we do run through those quickly. So right now you can order in quantities of three. And I'm trying to remember when they said soon enough maybe when the retiring lists come out on Monday. So that's another thing to know about, that the, um, all the retiring lists, everything that is going to be retiring out of the occasions catalog and the annual catalog, that list is gonna be announced. I'm pretty sure they said, I know it's Monday, April 15th, so next Monday, and I'm pretty sure they said it's gonna be at one o'clock mountain time. So for me here in Michigan, that's three o'clock Eastern time. So it'll be later in the afternoon for us. Um, as soon as they put that out there, I'll get that posted on our Facebook group and get a blog post out. So
So, and you can even go right to the Stampin' Up! website too um, at one o'clock Mountain Standard Time and you'd be able to see what's on the retiring list. So, oh, <laughs> yes, I know, Karen, that your trimmer is not more than two years old. Oh, scoring blades are out too, huh? Okay, I hadn't, uh, gosh, you are always so on top of things. Last night when I looked, that wasn't the case. Now, the thing is though, when, when you say they're out, they're not completely out. Um, what they said was they have ordered a supply so as the manufacturer can make more of these things then they'll be back and available so my suggestion to anybody that wants scoring blades cutting blades is if you you know go and order them if you can and if you can't get them ordered they're gonna ask you you know it's not available right now do you want an email um, to be sent to you as soon as they are available definitely say yes because then as soon as they're available they'll shoot you that email and then you can hop on and get your order in because my understanding and it makes sense is they don't want to have a bunch of back orders for these things so when they're available you can order them and when they're not orderable put your name on the email list they'll send you an email when they come back in again then you'll be able to order them so they're just not going to be able to put them on back order because that's really costly to put an order in and ship most everything and then those little blades aren't available so I have to send those chef separately so that's why they're doing that oh lily oh, hold on <laughs> okay she's not saying hi all right it was maybe a morning. I don't know. She didn't say a word when she walked in, but she got some she got some breakfast or lunch, I guess it is, and she's on her way up to her room. Um, okay. <clears throat> um, all right, let's see. So I if anybody has any more question questions about the stamp and tr stamp and trimmer, all I can say is they always come out with something even bigger and not maybe not bigger, but better. They're always working to improve whatever they are offering so i know it's a disappointment especially if you just ordered one but like i said all you can do is just buy a bunch of blades so you're good to go um and it's never a you know i have a number of different cutting tools so i don't think it's ever a problem to have more than one cutting tool either too so you have your stamp and trimmer um and then you'll have whatever comes out next okay so the other this is this is huge also and karen just kind of posted about it so the big shot um the way i understand it we will not be selling a big shot any longer i think it's a trademark name through um Sizzix is who we buy that through right now um and as well all of the dyes and embossing folders all of that will be transitioning over to a new <laughs> Marianne, oh no, can I panic now? Okay, let me, I was trying to think of the best way to kind of present all of this or explain it because I was like, oh, I was a little bit um, like what the heck is going on too. So we're not gonna be selling a big shot with the next annual catalog. Stampin' Up! is the way I understand it, making, designing their own version of the big shot that they will be calling whatever. We don't know yet. Um, hi, Sandy, how are you doing? The other thing is all of our thinlets and um, framelits and all of that stuff. Basically the new lingo is they're all going to be called dies. And then um, I think we have embossing folders and then instead of the dynamic textured impression embossing folders, they're going to call them 3D folders. So they have to kind of go, they can't use the same wording or verbiage or lingo because that's all trademark copyrighted. So they have to come up with their new lingo. Um, but what I understand is everything that we're offering right now that is not retiring, we'll, you know, that'll carry over into the next catalog. And they've got a supply from the previous manufacturer of all of the dies and embossing folders. So those will be shipped to you as, you know, as they're available. Once those run out and the new dies and embossing folders are made through the new manufacturer, then those will start shipping. And then as well, brand new dies and embossing folders in the annual catalog, those are gonna be made by the new manufacturer and those will be sent to you um, you know, as those are ordered. So there's just kind of this transition period. What I understand, and this is the big thing to take away from all of this is, it's going to be another version of a big shot. You will be able to use all of what you currently have, you know, all your dies and embossing folders, you'll be able to use them on the new machine and vice versa. So if you're going to keep your big shot, you're going to be able to use all your new dies and embossing folders on your big shot. And then if you want to get the new die cutting and embossing machine, 
vice versa. So they, what they said is, you know, maybe you might need to put a little shim in something because, you know, the the difference, the height difference, there's going to be a little bit of that. Um, you know, so you just might have to shim things a little bit, but everything's going to work in the old die cutting system and in the new cut, die cutting system and the dies and embossing folders. So it, it just, you know, you might have to shimmy things around a little bit, but the, so if somebody hasn't bought the Big Shot and they want the Big Shot, I would suggest getting that as soon as you possibly can. Because those, um, <laughs> all right, good, Marianne's saying that you can live with that. Awesome. And hey, Sally. Um, so I lost my train of thought. That's how that happens when I'm like, I kind of peek over at those comments. Um, but I think that's basically it. I'm going to check my notes just to make sure. Um, Let's see, the die cutting embossing. Yeah, it's basically just a product line change. Um, working on the new machine, I think I've said all of that. Um, yeah, everything's gonna be interchangeable. That's a good way to put that. You just might have to use some different layering options, okay? So it's not the end of the world. I think the big thing is there's just not gonna be a big shot available to buy for a while. So if you already have one, you're totally fine. You can obviously use all your old stuff that you've been using in your big shot just fine. And any of our new dies and embossing folders will still work in the big shot. And then obviously they will work in our new die cutting and embossing machine. So um, let's see. So what is Wendy saying? Hi everyone, I saw um, by a demonstrator that if you sand down the bottom of the old ink um, <laughs> oh, all right, good. That's the next thing that I want to, well, I'm going to show you guys that in just a little bit. All right. So <laughs> that's too funny. That is awesome. So if you sand down, all right, well, maybe well, I didn't even try to put my ink pads in my new storage. I'm going to show you guys that in just a little bit. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. I'm going to have to try that. Now I'm going to have to sand a couple down and see if they'll fit in there. I'm sure they're not that much difference in size. So, okay, let's do our drawings. All right, so here we go. We are going to draw, what are we drawing for first? The frosted flower embellishments, right? So we got like the little baby pink and purple and clear frosted flower embellishments. So we are shaking these around. Remember, as always, um, one entry for commenting on Facebook Live right now or anytime until next Thursday. Three entries if you share this Facebook Live video. Just make sure you make a little comment about um, the video when you share it. And then another three entries if you're nay, um, or if you sign up for my email list, if you're a new email subscriber. And then the last thing, the day was Sunday, the random drawing. So anybody that commented or shared a post that I did on Sunday, or if you shared your own post, whatever you've been working on, you got another three entries in the drawing. So here we go. Let's see see who our lucky winner is today. Put those all shaken around and I have one in my hand that's always my big fear. Hey Miss Denise! Denise Ledbetter is the winner. Can I get that? The glare, right? It's always crazy. So yeah, Denise, I will have your frosted flower embellishments for you down at the studio. You can pick those up anytime. All right, awesome. Congratulations, ma'am. All right, so now I want to tell you guys, we are going to be giving away next Friday our pearls. You can never have too many pearls, right, in your life. So thank you for the share. Sally, I appreciate that. So this is what we're going to give away next week. Oh, Denise, you just missed it. I drew your name. That's too funny. So Denise, you win. Here, I don't know if you can see your name, right? Can you see? There's Miss Denise. You are the winner of the Frosted Flower Embellishment. So I was just saying, I'll have these down for you at the studio to pick up whenever it's convenient for you. So congratulations. Yeah. And then this week we are, hi, Den or Bernice. Bernice. Bernice and Denise. That's like a little sing-songy, isn't it? How are you, Bernice? I hope everything's good with you. Um, so yeah, this week we're going to give away the pearls. Right, can I get those in there? Yep, so as usual, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, every comment that you make on Facebook Live, your name goes in the drawing. Three entries if you share the video. Another three entries if you sign up for my email list if you haven't done that yet. And then one random day I pick, and um, anytime you comment or share or post your own project on that random day, like I said, last drawing was Sunday, then your name goes in here another three times. So I'm glad you're wonderful, Denise, or Bernice. Why do I keep saying Denise? Bernice. <laughs> All right, so let's see, what else are we gonna do? Um, Uh-oh, I've lost my names for my other 
What did I do? I've lost my names. I only, I only had uh, two online orders, but where did those little slips of paper go? Uh-oh, Sandra, good morning, how are you? All right, okay, this is crazy. It was right here. It's like I swiped, swiped them away. All right, give me one sec. All right, hold on. I am going to write the names. Oh, this is crazy. This has never happened to me before. Okay, bear with me one sec. I gotta find a pen. I bet Lily took them when she walked by so quickly. She swiped them, didn't she? <laughs> she didn't. I know she didn't, but shoot. That's crazy. Okay, because I want to be able to do this drawing too. So let's see. Let me write these names on here and we are going to jump straight into our other drawing, right? Okay. So the other drawing that we were doing was for anybody that put an online order in last week. If you ordered at least $30 and used the host code, your name went in the drawing to win the super cute, the Fable Friends stamp set. So I loved like all the cute little Easter bunnies and ducks and just kind of spring fun. There's definitely an Easter sentiment there. So Easter greetings, there's a happy spring, darling baby, and glad we're friends. And it's just a really pretty cursive font too. Can you guys see that? I'm all about the fonts, right? <laughs> Makes me think, did you guys ever, when my kids were younger, they always watched that show, The Middle, and there was the youngest kid named Brick, I think his name was. Isn't that funny how I'm like drawing a blank? But he loved fonts too. I think he actually even had a font club, <laughs> if I remember correctly, in school. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let me make sure. Okay, good. Now I wanted, I just had to make sure that I had those names in there right. Okay, so couple, just a couple names in the drawing today. Woo, craziness already for the Fable Friends stamp set, right? Okay, so we're gonna just shake these couple of names around and you have like a 50-50 chance of winning here, ladies. <laughs> it's good odds, it's good odds. So, all right, I have one name and oh it is miss rosemary mason there we go all right rosemary actually i think you're going to be down a class this afternoon so i will bring this stamp set down to the studio and you'll have it this afternoon right at class so congratulations miss rosemary that is awesome okay i have to make sure not to forget that too i can see myself like running out the door and forgetting to do to bring that with me Okay, so this week, have you guys been enjoying the product of the week on the Facebook group? So all week long, oh, you made all your Easter cards. Sandra, we would love to see what you made with that cute stamp set. It's a super sweet one. I've seen a lot of really cute projects done with that. Um, I actually don't even have that stamp set, so I would love, we would all love to see what you made, Sandra. Um, okay, so this week, uh, like I said, on the Facebook group, we have been featuring the Strong and Beautiful stamp set as our product of the week. And I just have to tell you, I'm going to read every single one of these sentiments on here because I love the stamp set so much. So here is the stamp set. This is what we're going to give away next Friday with an online order of at least $30. Your name goes in here. Make sure you use the host code. You're also going to get the two projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a little bit. But like I said, I have to tell you guys all of the awesome sentiments on here because I know I always kind of blow right past the wordy stamp sets in the catalog. I'm always looking like it's more, I'm more visual. You know, I like to see all the pretty flowers and whatever else we have. So the words, I kind of like, eh, words reading, I don't want to do that. But then when you actually take the time to read the sentiments in this stamp set, you are going to love this stamp set as well. So that was my focus all week long was trying to find different cards on Pinterest that showed the different stamp or um, sentiments that are in this stamp set because there are some awesome ones. So I'm going to read them to you guys because maybe you haven't paid that much attention in the catalog either. The first one is a happy Mother's Day, which we can always use that, right? Um, we've got you're amazing and that's a fact. God made you my mother, love made you my friend. Oh, you are loved completely. You have what it takes to be unstoppable and I couldn't be more proud. That's awesome. You have truly been a shining example to me, to the woman who taught me what it means to be brave. Um, let's see, you are like a diamond, diamond, resilient, strong and beautiful. Thank you for always being there for me. Keep reaching for your dreams. I will keep cheering you on. Um, I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. And then one more. This was my favorite. To the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. 
And I was like jokingly, I mean, not really, but kind of like, oh, that's such an awesome sentiment. I wish I lived with more grace and wisdom. <laughs> I'm working on it, right? I think we all are. So Sally, I know it's one of your favorite stamp sets and it has become one of mine too, even just throughout this week of sharing all of those um, other projects on our Facebook group with this stamp set. So awesome stamp set. You guys could win the Strong and Beautiful stamp set with an online order this week. So just make sure you use the host code. I'm going to give you that in just a little bit. Um, it's all always at gatheringinspiration.com too, so don't forget that, okay? All right, so I didn't follow my notes in order, so now I have to do a quick double check and make sure that I told you guys about everything. Oh, I know, one other thing, this is so silly. So um, I've gotten a couple of different questions from people. Did you meet your sales goal? Because I, I think I was so busy like thanking everybody because I was just super overwhelmed with the response that I had gotten. I had felt kind of uncomfortable even like putting that plea out there like, please order through me because I want to meet this goal. But you guys came through with like flying colors and I did, I met that sales goal. I actually exceeded it. Um, a couple of orders came in kind of at the last minute. I actually put an order in just to make sure that I I was gonna get there and then other orders came in and like bumped me up above and beyond that so thank you guys I, I didn't actually say yes I met my sales goal that I had set for myself um, you know of course there's a whole nother goal this quarter so keep the orders rolling in if you are enjoying Facebook lives I really appreciate um, you saying so with an order basically so thank you guys but thank you like I said for helping me meet that goal because I just that means so much to me that you guys um, enjoy these videos and appreciate that too so thank you thank you thank you so that was the one thing that I skipped right over that I needed to make sure to say. Um, let's see, I think that we have done most everything. I just wanna do a quick reminder, now I got these all pulled apart. The, um, what is this called? The piece of cake class to go. So super cute, I can't show you guys all the cards, right? But I did in the video too. So you can see um, the video on YouTube. But basically this class to go, you've got one more week. Is that it already? Yeah because it's already the, I think I only left it only open for a couple weeks. So next Friday is the last day to RSVP for the piece of cake class to go. So let me know if you have any questions. I will post the link again. It's been on our Facebook group. Um, it's also on my blog too. So check that out at gatheringinspiration.com. All the links are there um, to get you signed right up. Um, you can pay right through PayPal. It's super simple and easy. So I would love to get you guys, because these cards, look at how cute. I mean, they're fun and bright and cheerful and all the fun cakes. So you'll love that, that stamp set and that class to go. So, okay, now I've been trying to figure out, I'm like looking over here. So I have the storage by Stampin' Up. It came in this week and I was so excited. I had to break it all out. Lily was checking it out too. She thought it was pretty fabulous. She's a huge organizer as well. Like um, she's probably maybe even upstairs like reorganizing her room right now because she does that super regularly. Um, but so... Yeah, we are appreciative of the organization. So I have to show you guys, but these are really not meant to like walk around and show people these things. They're really meant to sit like on your craft table and not move. So I'm like, I don't, because they, they do, yeah, see they're like layers. Can you see that? They do come apart. So this is actually two, there's five and five. Do you can see that? So this is two of the Stampin' Blends storage units and can you see obviously I think I figured if you got all of them you would about fill this up um, the two of them I'm trying to see how many are left I've still got a few spots of actually kind of using a few of them so they're kind of all pulled apart but I love like it look at how pretty that is I've been dying to have something to keep these um, in and organized I guess because I've just had them in like the wood stamp cases which is fine but I love this. This is so, <laughs> isn't that cool? I'm like, he, yay. So that is one of the things. Oh, and actually the lid too. I'll show you. Can I do this with one hand without things falling off? This is the piece. So there isn't one of these toppers, obviously on the first set, right? Because I've got five and then another five and then that's the little topper. And everything fits really nicely and they're really like good sturdy. They're not like wimpy um, plastic material. In my other life, I work for plastic manufacturing companies, so I have an appreciation for good plastic. <laughs> and they've even got the logo. I'm not gonna tip it, because if I do that, then all the markers are gonna come out, but there's a cute little Stampin' Up! logo right on there. And I think they're gonna be nice and easy to keep clean, too. Um, okay, so that's one 
part of it. And then I'm gonna try to lift up again without like tipping everything over. So basically that is the stand, or um, the blends storage and then the little topper or lid, whatever it's called. And then here is the rest of, I just kind of got a couple of each of these things. So this is obviously the open storage right here, which I feel like maybe this one is sold out for right now. They did say, I think they had a pretty overwhelming response. This is gonna, these are gonna be in the catalog. They'll be back and available. So, you know, just have some patience. If you didn't order them right away, you will be able to get them. But then this is like the big thing. Um, I think this is what was it Wendy was saying that, so I just put my new um, ink pads, the new um, design ink pads in here, and those obviously fit perfectly. So you've got five ink pads, and then I'm trying to reach around here, and then five markers right there. And then I didn't even fill up the top, but this is awesome. You can fit. Can you guys see, oops, oh, one of the bolts of ribbons fell out. Well, that's what happens when you tip it. But you can fit 20 ink refills in the little topper. If you can kind of see, see I've still got a ton of room left back there. I'm trying to keep them kind of toward the front. But so, isn't that awesome? I just really am very, very happy with this storage. I'm excited to, I honestly wanted to get it so I could show you guys and kind of check it out and see what I thought myself. And I'm gonna be ordering more of these um, so that I have room for all of my color collections. And I, yeah, oh, it's just the, you know, getting organized, right? Lots and lots of fun. So let me know if you guys have any questions. But those were, so it's the ink refill, and then it was five, ink pads and markers, and then the open storage was on the bottom. So it's just five different components that you can choose from. But I really, they're pretty awesome. I'm excited about them. So if you haven't gotten them, get online. You can order them right now. Make sure you use the host code and then your name goes in the drawing to win that strong and beautiful stamp set too. So, okay. All right, I think we are ready to do our stamping. So let me get my grid paper set up. And just trying to make sure, but yeah, okay. So what do we got here? <laughs> yes, it will be a lot easier to find your colors too, Karen, for sure, if you don't have them organized by color collection yet. And you can see them with all the labels right on there. So it's really fabulous. Okay, turn your heads away for a sec. I'm gonna flip the camera down so that we can do our stamping. Are you guys ready? I have some awesome projects to show you guys today. Let's see, let me make sure. All right, my ceiling looks good, right ladies? And there we go. Okay. <laughs> see if I can maneuver this a little bit. Hmm. Isn't that funny? Okay, that's what I need to do. Okay, I'm trying to get the right angle. And since there's no sun, there's really not gonna be much of a glare. It might be more of like shadows, dark shadows right now. So spring, I saw somebody post and I thought this was so funny. There was something about, um, you know, it was one of those funny little memes or something that said, oh my gosh, if I knew spring was only going to be three days, I would have gotten out and enjoyed it more. I'm like, I think here in Michigan, we can really relate to that. <laughs> so, okay, sorry, my little humor there. Mm. Okay, which one are we going to do first? Okay, I think we are going to do this card first so you might have seen i gave like a little sneak peek um what is karen saying is there never not a list lol are you kidding <laughs> there's always a list karen oh sorry sally you're getting dizzy huh yeah i know that's why i tell you to turn your head away sally i guess i have to tell you when to turn your head back too so okay so like i said you may have seen kind of a sneak peek of this card i love so i've been um, wanting to do a Mother's Day card. I have to tell you guys, um, my mom actually passed away, um, gosh, um, over 15 years ago. So I have a little bit of a hard time making Mother's Day cards just because my mom is uh, available to be able to give a Mother's Day card to, but I know if she were here, she would certainly appreciate this Mother's Day card. And obviously there are lots of other mothers in my lives that I can send um, a Mother's Day card to as well. So Anyway, I like I'm excited because it I have like I said, I've kind of had a hard time doing Mother's Day cards. So this I was like I was really like proud that okay, I can do a Mother's Day card this year. Um, because you never know, right? So anyway, okay, so this card features, you guys know it, right? The strong and beautiful stamp set. There's that happy Mother's Day card or um sentiment right on there, right? And then all those other awesome sentiments too. So 
let me, I'm going to get everything out so we can get started. And actually, this one doesn't even use our Big Shot, does it? The other thing it does use, though, is this awesome, if you guys don't have this one yet, the Bloom by Bloom stamp set. I love all of these bold, fun flower images. So you can see we used a couple of these flowers and the leaves and then the little dots on our card, too. So, all right, I'm going to get everything out here and show you simple, pretty simple stamping. Um, but, oh, that's right. I got another fun trick to show you guys. I was just looking at that too. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Actually, before I pull anything more out, let me tell you guys about the measurements. Let's move this up and out of the way a little bit too. Okay. Oh, well, before I do that though, right, let me make sure, especially if you're again new to Facebook Live, if you put at least a $30 online order in by next Wednesday, you're going to get these projects that I'm going to show you right now. Make sure to you to use make sure to use the host code the P3GZ 7ND7. You can always find that at gatheringinspiration.com. And then if you order over $50, you get a free embellishment as well with your thank you package. So, okay, now I'm gonna move that up out of the way a little bit and give you some dimensions. Okay, so we have, this is Petal Pink cardstock, if you hadn't been able to tell that yet, right? So eight and a half by 11 cardstock, we cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half and then scored it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. Nice crisp fold on our card. Ooh, the sun is gonna peek out. I heard it might. Um, yay! I'm not gonna complain because <laughs> it's been a little bit. Ooh, and then this is, I love, back to kind of um, some of the product from our annual catalog that we haven't played with in a while. This is the Garden Impressions Designer Series Paper. So this is kind of a nice subtle pattern, kind of a, this is so saffron, I would say, is the color here. So this DSP is four by four. And then I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures three and a half by four and three quarter inches. Okay, um, good, I do have everything. All right, um, um, what do I wanna do? Actually, I'm gonna show you. So using, this is our Everyday Label Punch, and I wanna make these little notches. And oh, I should tell you guys, so, as a demonstrator, we get a magazine every quarter called Stampin' Success, and this was one of the projects that they featured in our Stampin' Success magazine. So if you haven't checked out your magazine, if you're a demonstrator, that came, I don't know, probably a while ago, actually, because it took me a while to actually um, open it up and look through it. I love to have the time. I think that's what it is. I don't want to just flip quickly. I want to be able to savor it. So anyway, I finally had some time to savor my Stampin' Success magazine, and I saw this project in there. But what I couldn't quite figure out, so they used the, they said they used the Everyday Label Punch to kind of do some corner, can you guys see that, some corner punching there? Well, they did it a little bit differently, and I once I put this in here and I kind of punched, I was like, well, I like what I got. That's not quite what they did, but can you see, if I get super close, so you just want to make sure it's even, kind of top and side there, so it looks uniform, and then you just punch that out. And can you see just that little teeny tiny um, corner detail, I guess I would say. So then we're going to turn this and do that there. And you just kind of eyeball it. You know, it's as long as you don't stick it way in here, it's, you know, as long as you have it about the same distance, it's going to be all right because you're really focusing more on um, the stamping, I would say. But that's the basic idea. Just pop that in there, cut those little corners out. So this is, that's what's kind of fun about these, some of these label punches with these details. You can use them as corner punches and, you know, lots of different, they definitely put this in a different place and I don't even know where because theirs looked different than mine, but I like how mine turned out so I didn't even play with it anymore. So, okay, so we've got that. Let's get, I want to grab my paper piercing mat to do our stamping here. Okay. Um, can you guys see that? You can, right? Okay, so what are we going to start with? We are going to start with, this is our Calypso Coral ink with our big flower, okay? So tap, tap, tap. I'm not squishing too hard because I don't need ink all over my block, but I do need to make sure that this is inked up well. 
for my stamp itself. Okay, so there's that. Then we are going to grab, this is our petal pink ink. We're gonna use this guy. Okay, we're gonna ink up our smaller flower and put him maybe right about there, okay? Then, actually need, I've got like a little piece of scrap paper here. I'm gonna put that underneath there because these leaves in the Night of Navy are gonna kinda run off the bottom of my paper and I don't wanna get that all over my stamp and pierce mat. So let's see. It's funny, that really dark blue, sometimes I look and I think, do I have enough? But yeah, that looks good. And then more leaves, that's kind of fun, huh? Doing some blue leaves, I wouldn't have thought to do that. But I really like, I love that color combination. So Calypso Coral, Petal Pink, and Night of Navy ink is what we used there. Oops, actually I need this because we're gonna do these little dots too. We're just gonna put a couple of dots right there and then a couple of dots right there. Those are so cute too, it's almost like pollen, right? leaving the flower going out into the world. And okay, one more. We need our Calypso Coral ink again to um, stamp on, and I brought a big long strip to give myself. <laughs> so this is for the Happy Mother's Day right here. In case it doesn't go well, I thought, okay, then I, I can stamp it a few times. Cause this is, you know, let me make sure it's going the right way. Okay, so again, nice, easy tap, tap, tap and without hopefully having the camera in my way. Hey, all right, I think that's good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna need more tries, so I, <laughs> I um, yeah, brought, long, used that long strip there just in case. Okay, so we're gonna snip this thing off and maybe cut him down just a titch there. It's however long you really want that one to be. This piece I did, I want that to be a little bit longer. This is a little strip of So Saffron cardstock. I forgot to mention that, that measures one half inch by four and a half inches. So this is probably about a half by four inches there. Okay, what's next, what's next? I'm gonna put my card right up here so I can see what I'm doing. I think we are about ready to kind of put things together. We've got some ribbon fun that I'll show you in a sec, but let's add, where's our adhesive? Up here, okay. So we're gonna put some adhesive on our designer paper and we are gonna add it to our card, just kind of trying to center it side to side. It takes up most of the top to bottom there. Does that look even? There, okay, that's good. Then, oh good, I did bring my dimensionals, right? Okay, we're gonna put a bunch of dimensionals. I wanna pop this whole thing up. So I'm gonna put them in all four corners and then in the center there so it doesn't get wonky on me later. We are gonna peel these little babies off, hopefully. Come on, Mr. Dimensional. So hopefully everybody has fun plans for the weekend. You guys doing anything good? I think it's supposed to be a little bit warmer here again in Michigan anyway over the weekend. So that will be awesome. Um, okay, trying to get that lined up. All right, that looks good. Okay, next we are gonna put our little strip of So Saffron cardstock on our card. We're gonna just put that right about there. And then, where's my ribbon? It's I know it's right here in front of my face. Okay, then we just used a little strip. I love this, because um, I'm always making bows, so just kind of add a little strip of this white polka dot tool ribbon just to kind of give a little bit of texture i would say um oh sally that's right it is your anniversary and you're going away that's awesome very cool well yeah, happy anniversary and enjoy yourselves okay there so we're just going to kind of lay that right on there just like i said gives a little background texture and then we are going to pop this little strip up on their dimensionals also. So I'm gonna put a couple of these guys on the back of this. I'm using the little mini ones because they fit better on a little half inch wide strip. Um, Karen, I think it's, uh, oh, Nikki, you're going to on stage. That is awesome. Is there, I don't even remember, is there one in Salt Lake City? 
that's probably convenient for you, right? Oh, I can't wait for, you got, You have to tell me what you thought of it. I think you're gonna love it, especially if you've never been to one before. That's kind of a good way, maybe not quite as overwhelming to start with um, a smaller, you know, shorter time span. Um, oh my gosh, yay, I'm so excited for you. I can't wait, you have to tell me how it goes. So very, very cool. Um, I'm seeing other comments. All right, so we just put that on there. Now what do we need to do? Oh, okay, so this is kind of fun. This is the white flax ribbon. Yes, in Salt Lake City. Oh, very, very cool. I am so excited for you, Nikki. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Stampin' Up! is awesome. And I think that's one of the fun things about it is when you go to an onstage event and you kind of see all the people that work for Stampin' Up! and you just really learn about what an awesome company it is. And here I am talking, Philomena, how are you? So all I did, ladies, I'm just kind of pull this apart and you can do this with any of our ribbons. So some of the more fine ribbon, you're gonna get really thin, wispy pieces. This is actually um, like a, I don't know, thicker, coarser, but basically all I did was snip along the seam, right? And then I'm just kind of pulling and that's how easy it is. You just can pull these little threads out. So I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna take that back to class so people can use the rest of that. So I just want a couple of little strands. So it kind of ends up like Baker's twine, um, but it's it's like a nubbier, thicker, more coarse, which I think is kind of fun. Um, oh, doctor appointment. Hope everything's good, Philomena. I know those doctors can keep you busy, can't they? So, oh. All right, so we're gonna just pretend that you've got one strand of this in your hand instead of two, so you don't get kind of weirded out by the fact that you're tying two strands, right? But it's super easy when you do that. Just treat it like it's one, and then you tie your bow. And I'm gonna make those, I don't want those loops too big. Then we are going to grab a mini glue dot. And we are gonna just pop this right on. Here, where is the next glue dot? There we go. Okay, so we just wanna grab a glue dot and I just kinda of put that down in the corner. And you can see I cut it kinda of long cause I didn't wanna to have to fuss with not having enough. So just kinda of trim that off, right? And then our last step is to add, I've got just this little strip of rhinestone. So we're just gonna add a couple of rhinestones. Just, I love sprinkling these on a card, any of these little embellishments. I love sprinkling them on there. So that is it. Isn't that awesome? So happy Mother's Day. How sweet. Thank you for the share, Philomena. I love, love, love that you do that. Love to find new stamping friends. Um, so yeah, and then you just kind of see that little bit of the polka dot tool ribbon peeping out there. I added a couple of other embellishments. I'm trying to remember this card. I had to like, I don't know, I always have to have a little more texture on it. So yeah, but this was basically from our Stampin' S Success magazine. So, okay, that's one card. Now let me show you, actually, hold up one sec. I gotta, I gotta get this stuff put back in here because I gotta take this down for class, right? Okay, so let me, so that it's not super confusing later. Let's just get these things all popped back in here. Okay, one more. Got my ribbon. All right, I think I'm good. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, I don't really need that there. All right, I've got a mess, but I'm just gonna swipe that to the side and you guys have no idea about that. I know that you don't. Okay, so, all right, here is the next card. We had a ton of fun with this one too. We we're making this one at class as well. Thank you, Philomena, I'm glad. <laughs> you live the card or you love the card, that's cute. <laughs> I know, that happens to me all the time too. I type too fast. So this is our other card that uses another one of the sentiments from our strong and beautiful stamp set, right? This is, and I love this, you have what it takes to be unstoppable and I couldn't be more proud I love that. I'm like, oh, I could think of like Lily and Kate in um, different situations where it'd be fun to give them a card with something with a sentiment like that on it, right? Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna get my things out here and let's give you dimensions again. Okay, so this time we are using, this is a Calypso Coral card base, okay? And as always, this is our eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Again, we cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half, and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, right? 
nice crisp fold on our card, right? Then we have a piece more of the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. And you know, Philomena, I know we were talking about that stamp set earlier. It's, I've really enjoyed sharing that with everybody on our Facebook group this week. Okay, so Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. Love all of this detail. If you guys don't have this yet, make sure you order it. Um, I will tell you, now is the time. If you have any inclination to put an order in, do it like today or this weekend before the retiring lists come out on Monday because then you don't have to worry about things already being sold out. So I know I've mentioned, and I'm kind of getting off tangent here. I don't even have them. Actually, nope, I don't. I was going to say, do I have any of the colors? But the 2017-19 in colors, those always sell out so quickly. So um, let's see, Lemon Lime Twist, totally going to miss that one. Berry Burst, Powder Pink, Tranquil Tide, and Fresh Fig. Those five in colors are the ones that are retiring. They always sell out super quickly. Make sure you have your ink refills. Make sure you have enough cardstock. Um, if you don't have the markers yet, if you want any of the ribbon or embellishments, just order all of that like this weekend. Use the host code, right? Then you get your name in the drawing to win stuff and you get these projects. And then you avoid any of that frustration of missing out on anything that you want that you don't get because um, the retiring list came out and things sell out. So, okay, that being said, I was thinking of this because I bet this designer series paper, usually almost all, if not all of our designer series paper, ends up on that retiring list too. So if you enjoy this Garden Impressions designer series paper as much as I do, I think I have bought about five packs of it, to be honest. Um, make sure you order that as well before those retiring lists come out. Okay, so this DSP measures two and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I have, these are just a couple little strips um, for the die cutting, but we have a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock that measures four, uh, nope, I'm sorry, three and three quarters by five inches, and then this one is just a teeny tiny bit smaller, so this one measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths, okay? So we are, let's see, let me tell you guys, we use just a little bit the Butterfly, Butterfly Gala stamp set. We use just that little butterfly right there in the corner of our card, okay? Along with that Butterfly Gala punch that is back and available again. So if you didn't get this stamp set and framelit, the bun, or stamp set and punch, this bundle yet, make sure you do that. I don't know, we'll know on Monday whether it carries over or not. I believe the punch is going to, but even if the stamp set does, the bundle will not carry over. So if you like these things and don't have them, order them now because you can get them at the bundle price where you'll have to pay you know, the individual separate prices um, with the new catalog. Okay, we are also using, with all those dots, my favorite, this beauty abounds, all those little dots. And everybody at class that made this card absolutely loved all of those little dots as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, super cute. And, okay, so we're going to get these things. Oh, and I have my little stickies to tell everybody at class. These little dots go in Calypso Coral, and these little dots go in Melon Mambo. So I'm going to pull those off because... I, I know that. I'm going to be all right with that. Okay, I think I've got everything. Oh, and then I'll show you too. We are using some of the Calypso Coral. This is the sheer 1 8 inch ribbon. So super beautiful, pretty fine ribbon there. Okay, I'm going to use my Melon Mambo ink and I'm going to ink up my butterfly. I just need that little baby, so I just have a little strip. So I'm going to punch that out in a sec. I'm going to put that aside though for now and then here my whisper white actually we're gonna stamp our sentiment here too okay so this is the you have what it takes to be unstoppable and I couldn't be more proud we're gonna stamp that just on a strip of whisper white cardstock and I'm gonna set that aside because we're gonna die cut both of those with our layering circle framelits now on this card so the more more bubbles I stamped in this Melon Mambo ink. And I just kind of started sprinkling them. And I love how they don't all look the same, right? And we can always add a little bit more if we need to. So we're gonna set that one aside. Um, oh, we use the Calypso Coral ink on both of these cards. That's right. I remember that now. Okay, so let me grab that out. So our Calypso Coral ink with 
just a few of the bubbles. And again, the Beauty Abounds stamp set. So these bubbles were in Melon Mambo and then these bubbles were in Calypso Coral. And they've got some pretty butterflies there too. I didn't even get the framelits that go with this um, stamp set, but I believe they have a bunch of little butterflies and then there's that big kind of butterfly scene. And then I love these sentiments too. Our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. And a friend is someone who chooses you out of a whole world of people. I know I've used that. I've used both of those. I love those sentiments. And then who you can always use more of those water splashes too, right? Okay, so now this one, we're just going to kind of add these kind of all over the place, right? And then the designer series paper is just going to, oopsie daisy, that's going to be all right. Wait a minute. Oh, it's going to go, <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember covering all of it up. No, that's going to be fine. Okay, I was just trying to make sure I had enough coverage there. So, And that's the kind of fun part is every single one of these is going to look different, right? Okay, so now we can, let's do our die cutting and then we'll put everything together. So let's get these stamps out of the way because I think we're done with our stamping. All right, so let me grab the big shot because we just need to die cut these circles with the layering circle framelits. So... <laughs> they told us not to call it, well, kind of, <laughs> you know, they're trying to get us switched over to the new lingo. So whatever the new die cutting machine will be, it won't be called the big shot. So they're trying to get us in the mode of not calling this a big shot. So we're going to use our die cutting machine, whichever one you have. Eventually you'll have to have that new. Where are those? O-M-G. Okay, I know what I did. The framelits are down at the stamp studio. That's not good. I packed everything up Wednesday night after class and I forgot to look over at the big shot. Huh, well, okay. You guys are just gonna pretend that I'm gonna finish this card because I don't, yeah. Oh, no, you know what? I have more circle framelits here. Hold on. Okay, shoot. many duplicates of things but <laughs> so these I do all right so now let's see if we can figure out I think is it that one yep okay good so that circle and then I think this is this one right here okay let's see if I can tell you which one it is I might have some more of these pulled out though so I don't think I'm even going to try to do that either we're going to use this scallop edged and that straight edge you can just use whatever sizes you want. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know I have some of those pulled out for another project, and so I don't even want to try to tell you, you know, which size they are in the grouping because it's probably not going to be right. So it fits, you know, fits around that sentiment very nicely, right? You can probably figure that out if you have the layering circle framelits, which one it is. Okay, so those guys come out of there. Okay. Scooting this stuff. Okay. Here we go. All right, so now we can start putting things together. So we're just gonna put our sentiment together right here on that. And I love how it just barely peeks out from behind those. Okay, let's see, right? There we go. We're gonna put some dimensionals, whoopsie daisy, behind this little guy here okay i just whooshed everything out of the way all right we are going to add some adhesive to our designer series paper piece and this is going to go right on our card base and again i want to just line that up so it's about even about right it doesn't have to be totally perfect pretty even top to bottom right we're gonna put some more adhesive on the back of our Whisper White piece. Oops, sorry. I might have just kind of hit that. Sorry, sorry. Hopefully I'm not making anybody too dizzy. Um, and I love that, just that little peak of color coming out, but I feel like I didn't do that quite right. I see some comments scrolling by while I'm trying to adhere this. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Oh no, you lost the whole video. Uh-oh, uh-oh, but let's see. All right, thank you. Oh, let's see. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Oh my, okay, sorry. I'm trying to like read these and still talk, but thank you guys. I think I'm, I'm just scrolled through there really quickly. It sounds like everyone's enjoying this card. I love those, I don't know. It's those little bubbles or dots. I just love those. Um, I know we used them on a card like a long time ago and I hadn't used that stamp set again lately. So now we are gonna just tie a Calypso Coral Bow. We're just wrapping it around. And you just have to kind of keep your finger down on there to try to get it as tight as possible. And I'm going to be super honest with you. Sometimes it takes like a time or two to get this tied and have it go tight enough to where I actually like the bow I've made. So that's okay. Sometimes it takes more than one try. Um, I like to kind of keep my finger on here when I'm pulling things to try to keep it tight. And I think that looks good. All right, we can futz around with that. And then just kind of carefully, because um, you don't want to rip right here, but you should be able to kind of carefully slide that over so it's out of the way a little bit, right? Over to the side. All right, I'm going to go a little bit further. I think that's going to be good. Now we're going to add uh, our sentiment. You have what it takes to be unstoppable, and I couldn't be more proud. We are going to... Pop that, maybe right about there, right? And then, oh, here's my little butterfly. Good thing I didn't punch that out yet because that'd probably be like, impossible to find. Okay, so with my butterfly duet punch, I'm gonna just slide that in and then punch him out. And you always get lots of extra bits with those punches that have more than one image that you're punching. We are gonna put just a little, um, to figure out which side because I want it to go on here so I don't want it to pop up too much on the left side so I'm just going to kind of put that over on the right hand side because I want it to go just does that make sense just kind of on the corner right there and that's kind of nice because then it lifts up almost like it's flying a little bit and then we have the gingham gala adhesive backed sequins so we're just going to pop one of those babies off you need to make sure that you get the um, glue dot behind it. I can see on the sheet a couple of others glue dot did not come because it's still sticky, but that's how that goes. So just be careful when you take that off that you get the glue dot with it, right? So, all right, we're almost done with this baby. I'm going to add a good amount of adhesive to this because we've got a couple of layers of cardstock and lots of stuff going on. So I want to make sure that this stays on my card well. Right, and there we go. So how about it? Let's see, yes, the Garden Impressions DSP, you like how that's underneath. It does add a nice texture, doesn't it? Without kind of overwhelming the card. I thought it went very nicely with those little bubbles too. So thank you, Karen, I appreciate that. So you guys, oh my gosh, the sun is peeking out. Yay, it's gonna be a great Friday. Hopefully you guys have, like I said, fun weekend plans or just maybe you're gonna do some stamping. I would love to see what you guys are up to this weekend. If you're doing some stamping, make sure you share um, pictures of projects that you're making with us. We're always kind of curious and nosy like that, right? So, okay, quick recap. Make sure if you are interested, um, get your um, all, all your 2017 19 in colors, any of the designer series paper, anything that you think might retiring, order it this weekend. Make sure you use the host code, the P3GZ7ND7. Always you can find that on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, right? Um, order by next Wednesday. You're going to get um, one of each of these cards that I demonstrated, and your name goes in the drawing to win the Strong and Beautiful stamp set. And then don't forget, if you bump your order up to $50, you always get the free embellishment too. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we will see you next Friday. Bye.